I have a problem, a big problem, a big ego. But after only a few minutes of watching a caterpillar eat, I realized I'm a big idiot. This inflated sense of self-worth is worthless. Many signs can be seen on a daily basis proving that my distinction in the grand dichotomy is minimal at best, insignificant most probably, yet my ego dismisses this as irrelevant and inconsequential when in actuality I am irrelevant and inconsequential now. <laughs> of the nearly 7 billion people on this planet, how many actually know me? Well, first of all, I'm unable to conceptualize beyond 55 of anything. Uh -huh. Thumbtacks, cars, beautiful women, nothing. So to even begin at 7 billion is impossible. And of, no, of those 7 billion, no skill am I the best. Lover, fighter, discus thrower, or trait. Most attractive, least attractive, tallest, fastest. How many revolutions have I raised? None. How many songs in the key of life have I sang? Yeah. Do people in the Philippines bump master of the flying guillotine? See, how important am I? So, you know, in comparison with my own species, I realized I'm nothing special, so I tried my hand in nature. I thought, surely I must have an advantage, but sadly my ego was again thwarted by a logic and existence. You see, life expectancy in Canada is 89 years, but this does not include cancer, AIDS, genetically modified food, smog, bears, incorrect prescriptions, peer pressure, secondhand smoke, drunk drivers, winter, haters, lightning, police. Need I continue? The white elm will live at least 200 years if it is not infected with Dutch elm disease. That's only one thing to worry about. There are lizards and turtles that will live hundreds of years, and I won't make it to 84. Most citrus trees can bear fruit well into their 80s. Listen, there is no way I'm bearing fruit in my 80s unless it's the drive time. Most birds can fly, breathe air at high altitudes with no ill effects, swoop down and claw the hell out of things and return to its home in a tree. Uh, I am unable to fly unassisted, I'm often short of breath, moving swiftly to eat has never been a ritual practice, and my home is constructed of bricks because nature will fucking kill me. So, obviously against nature I didn't stand a chance, so I thought, wait a minute, maybe I'm, I'm going about this wrong, maybe I'm too big for the planet. So I decided to delve into my relevance in relation to the cosmos. The universe is said to be 65 billion years old, expanding exponentially, and is virtually inaccessible to me due to the fact that I am human. I am not dense enough to withstand the pressure, I am unable to withstand the cold, and again, the inability to fly independently really hampers my space travel. So now when I look to the stars, I realize that to myself I might be full of greatness. But in the grand workings of all, my contribution may be lost in time or forgotten altogether. You know what? I'm okay with that now. Yeah.